Can you upgrade your power supply in your old pre-built computer system? Let's find out. After the $175 budget gaming PC, a lot of you asked me questions on Reddit and YouTube what the possibilities were for upgrading your pre-built system. So I think it would be helpful to go over the biggest improvement you can make for your pre-built system, and that is the power supply. When you upgrade your power supply, it's kind of like playing one of those characters in a video game where you unlock one ability so you can have access to another one. What I mean by that is when you upgrade your power supply, you then can now have access to better graphics cards. This is assuming you get a power supply that has an extra six or eight pin connector. In the previous video, I was only recommending low profile graphics cards. With the new upgraded power supply that has the six or eight pin connector, you will have more options that you can choose from and a lot more possibilities. Here I have an EVGA 450 BT power supply. It has 450 watts of power, which should be plenty for whatever graphics card you're gonna choose, and it is bronze rated. Plus it often goes on sale for $20. I was lucky enough though to get mine for $10 when I bought it last year during Black Friday. Now let's see if it works. Boozled myself with the wrong power supply, but now I have the right one. Okay, so I'd like to pause here to take a moment to note that something I was concerned about before doing this video was whether or not this power supply is going to fit inside of and while it is fitting, um, the screw holes are not lining up, which is kind of only a tiny problem. And I mean that when I say tiny, because there is a little shelf here that would keep the power supply from falling, but I don't know if that's how I wanna necessarily do it. I'll stand it upright right now and see if it falls down. Doesn't look like it is. Anyway, so now, it's the fun part of where I actually plug everything in. I know the cable management looks pretty bad, and it is, um, but this is for testing, so I hope that you'll bear with me, even though this thing looks like absolute doo-doo. <laughs> hey, okay, so it looks like the computer is powering on, I don't even know if I'm on screen. So far, it seems like it's reacting well with the new power supply. Um, the fans are spinning on the graphics card. All the fans are spinning, the case fan, CPU fan. It looks like Windows 10 is booting up normally, and yeah. So the answer to our original question is yes, you can take your old pre-built system and upgrade the power supply to a new one. Now, some of you may have a computer like this, a skinny, small form factor case that will not be able to fit a full ATX sized power supply inside. Now, you can't exactly buy a power supply that will fit inside this case either because they have these weird swing out style power supplies that are nearly impossible to replace. On top of that, these power supplies do not power the motherboard the same way the larger mid-size ATX cases do. They have one six pin connector, another weird six pin connector, and a regular CPU four pin connector. So is it impossible to upgrade the power supply in here? Maybe. I did some research and found out there are these adapters that they sell from China on eBay that actually help power these weird small form factor motherboards. And for all of $5. My understanding is that other YouTubers like Tech by Matt and the Toasty Bros actually know how to make these themselves. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, go ahead and check out their YouTube channels. Anyways, let's find out if it works. All right, 
so with that, I think everything that needs to power uh, the motherboard from the power supply has been connected. There's not really any space for this power supply um, anywhere except to rest on the outside of the case. But since the theme of this channel right now is about saving money and just trying to get the most performance you can for your dollar, we're just gonna roll with it and just see how it goes. <laughs> So the other problem I'm running into now is the only graphics card I have right now that I can power on isn't going to fit into this motherboard. It's just too damn big. You could find another graphics card that would fit into one of these PCI Express slots um, that would need additional power. Finding a low profile bracket would be difficult. I mean, hypothetically, you could just cut this whole thing out and then it just wouldn't be an issue if the graphics card was short enough. But we're just going to go ahead and assume that you have a graphics card in here and you'd be able to power it and all that would work. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and stick with the low profile card that I have here and just hope that this thing powers up at all. Okay, I don't think I can overstate this, but this looks terrible. Uh, <laughs> but fortunately, we don't care about looks because right now we only care about how well this thing performs or if it works at all. Uh, yeah, so we can totally excuse how this looks all together. Thank you so much for being understanding. Appreciate it. Let's flip the switch and see if this thing works. Okay, so this thing is not giving me any signs of life whatsoever. I double checked to make sure that all of the power pins were in and everything was in as right of a spot as it could be and I'm just getting no response. So yeah, it doesn't work, but I can't say I'm too disappointed that this didn't work. Honestly, this should encourage people to buy the regular size mid ATX pre-built systems. If you have to get a small form factor build and that's all that's available to you, when you are trying to recreate a uh, pre-built budget gaming computer, just make sure that you have the low profile card you want because the upgrade uh, potential in something like this, uh, it's not good. So anyways, that's the end of the video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching and as always, have a good day.